Today, the family of a local PhD student visited the Del Mar crosswalk where their daughter was killed by a suspected drunk driver. The 10 News reporter Jennifer Jensen is now live in Del Mar, and Jen, her friends say what happened is unacceptable. They really do. They say it's unacceptable what happened here or what happens anywhere around the country, around the nation, when someone gets behind the wheel intoxicated. I want to step out of the way so I can show you that growing memorial here behind me in Del Mar. This is where the family came to mourn today after flying in from Boston. You know, this happens all the time, which is unacceptable and it is not okay. Words of anger and frustration from a friend of Rachel Morrison, devastated that her friend was killed by a suspected drunk driver. She's just always smiling. She was just always in a good mood and always made everybody around her feel better. That was Rachel. The parents and family of 27-year-old Morrison visited the site of the crash where her memorial has been growing since Friday night. Morrison, who was a Ph.D. student, was killed while crossing in this crosswalk at Camino Del Mar and Coast Drive, just west of the Del Mar racetrack. She was walking to a friend's house nearby after having dinner with friends. I think we just have each other, and we just keep, keep kind of coming back to each other and staying with each other, and that's how we're getting through it right now. Morrison was studying to become a marine biologist at UC San Diego. This picture shows a smiling Morrison from the Scripps Oceanography website. Deputies say Morrison and her friend were in the crosswalk when the hit and run driver blew through a stop sign at a high rate of speed. Morrison died at the hospital. Her friend was not injured. The man who investigators say was behind the wheel has been identified by the sheriff's department as 41 year old Christopher Stockmeyer. They were able to track the car to Stockmeyer's apartment complex here in La Jolla, where he was taken into custody. He's been booked on felony DUI, hit and run, and vehicular manslaughter. She was. Um just the most considerate and thoughtful and sweet person I know. So all those things, those are all what I remember about Rachel. So back out here live, you can see a lot of cars are even driving slow when they go by that memorial. Now, 10 News has learned that Stockmeyer has posted bail. Of course, we're going to stay on top of any developments. You're live here in Del Mar, Jennifer Jensen, 10 News.